Hello Ghostbusters fans, we're here today to take a look at the new Spengler Natronum wand that came out a couple of days ago. I know you've probably seen videos of this online already, so I thought I'd just do a quick uh, demonstration video for you. Okay, so as you can see, it has this kind of new, more weathered look with a tape. Got the green um, tape, the tape is actually kind of like a rubber, it's not solid, hard plastic. Most of the wand is plastic, but there's little bits of metal on there. The switches, and the, the disc dial thing on the top there, and the end of the clippered piece. And uh, most of the, the uh, wires are soft, like a soft plastic. Okay. This new design has this kind of the wood handle on it, which... I'm assuming we're going to see that in the new in the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. One theory I had about that was could it possibly be a slight reference to the real Ghostbusters cartoon where the uh, grip handles were brown. Obviously the, the equipment itself was black and blue but the, the handles on the wand were brown. I was, I was thinking could that be a reference to that? You know like, like they would be made of like wood maybe. Okay so let's, let's fire this up. Okay, so extend the end. Okay, so first of all, power button on. Got the sound effects all in there. This button turns on the, um, the lights, the heat gauge, I'm assuming you call that maybe. Activate. Can you hear that lovely sound? Yeah, so now the whole thing kind of vibrates. Take a look at all the lights and things on here. It kind of flashes a little bit of the end, sparks on the end. Okay, so let's have a look at firing it. As you see, we have the, uh, the proton beam firing out. You need to hold, if you hold it down, eventually it will like overheat like it does in the video game. There you go, there's a kind of and the whole thing kind of shuts itself off. Kind of like, kind of maybe referenced in the video games. I don't think in the in the movie they ever overheated. That was like a feature in the in the game, if you've played it. So let's turn it back on. As far as I'm aware, I'm not sure if this one affects anything. If it's on or off, I think it might just be for show. So let's turn it back on here. And this here increases the intensity if you can hear that getting getting higher there you go but I'm, as far as I'm aware when you fire the beam it vibrates more but when you fire the beam I, I think I think it is a bit more intense there you go but as well as that, a good, a good feature they added to this um, this Neutronium wand is you press this here, activates different modes. So now we've got the kind of slime blower from the um, from the game, the, the slime cannon, slime blower. So that's quite cool. There's a couple others they added as well. This one I forget the name. The blue ice beam thing from the video game. Freezes the ghost solid. Stasis. I think it's called the stasis beam. The final one. I think this is boson dart or boson collider or something. This fires like a shot. Yeah, none of the other lights really get affected by it much. See the last different as well, look. Firing like that. Hold it down and check those like that. Yeah, we have the classic sound effects there as well. So it's overall, I would definitely recommend. I would definitely recommend. I would definitely recommend anyone that's a, obviously a Ghostbusters fan pick this up. And I've noticed on Facebook people that are already modding it, changing some of the parts for proper metal parts or or changing the grip to a original plus to the original black grip. 
and maybe try to take the um the green off here to, to give it the original movie Ghostbusters one and two look. But over overall, I would definitely recommend any Ghostbuster fan picks this up because it is a really nice piece of kit. Obviously, people can add it to their own proton packs or just kind of have it on display. Like I've got it with like um obviously I haven't got my own proton pack, but this is just as fun on its own without it having it been attached to an actual pack. So, uh, so anyway, so I thought I'd just show you this. So I would definitely recommend picking one up if, if you can still get hold of them. I know that people have had problems getting them from online and stuff, but as far as I've noticed, a few people that were struggling seem to have theirs. So hopefully everyone that does want one of these is able to get one. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.